All right, so let's start creating our Amazon listing. So the first step is to log into your Amazon Seller Central account. Once you're logged in, you wanna to go to inventory right here on the top and then click on manage inventory. Right here, you can see you don't have any products listed yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on add a product right here. And then we're gonna click on, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. And now the first thing we need to do is decide on what kind of category your product should be listed in on Amazon. Sometimes it can be hard to find your category. So the easiest way to find it would be to go to your competitors and look at where they have listed their products in. So let's go to one of our competitors right here. And then we can simply scroll down and here we can see they have put it in the adjustable wrenches category in the top level category, tools and home improvement. So what I would do is just copy the adjustable wrenches keyword right here. Then I'm gonna go back here and just paste it in the search bar for the category, click on search. And then we can see uh, three different options how we can put them in the uh, adjustable wrenches category. So the first one would be tools and home improvement, power and hand tools, hand tools, wrenches, adjustable wrenches. I think this one pretty much makes a lot of sense. Then we can also go through automotive, which doesn't make sense. So I'm not gonna choose this one or industrial and scientific. So the best uh, main category I would think for this product is tools and home improvement. So I'm gonna choose the first one right here and click on select. And now the first thing we wanna do is make sure we see all the options. So we're gonna to go to more attributes right here and make sure this is turned on. And then we can see here, we have a lot more options for uh, our product. And now let's go through each tab here from top to bottom and enter all the details of our product. Now variations, uh, does your product have any variations? In my case, I don't have variations. So I'm just gonna leave it at no. And then here we're gonna have to type in our UPC code or EAN number that we have gotten before from GS1. So you can just put that in right here and then also select what kind of code that is. So in my case, this would be a UPC code. And then we can move on to the product name. So just to recap, this right here is the product name or product title that you're gonna have to put in this field. So let's look at how to create our product title. A good structure for your product title would be to start off with your brand name and then follow it up with your product name, including your main keywords that we have found before using Jungle Scout, and then also add some key features and benefits, also including as many keywords as possible. Then you can also use some words like some copywriting to make it easy to read and also look good for your customers. Before we create our title, we wanna get our main keywords from our Jungle Scout keyword list that we have found before. So let's go over to Jungle Scout, go to keywords, keyword lists, and then look for the keyword list that you have um, created for this specific product. Now here you can see those are all the keywords that I have found for this specific product. Now what we wanna do is look at the main keywords right here, note them down in a list, and then this keyword list we're gonna to use to create our title. So here you can see I filtered out the most important keywords for this product, which is bushcraft, gear, hand, auger, survival, and so on. And then I came up with this title right here. So I'm gonna start off with the brand name, which I have just named Wild Gator as an example. Then I follow up with the product name, so bushcraft, hand, auger, wrench. And as you can see, each of, the, each of those words is actually one of the keywords that we want to target that we have found before using Jungle Scout. And then I'm following it up with ultimate settlers tool. So ultimate was just a word that I included here to make it um, look better. And then settlers tool is also in our keyword list up here. Then we have manual hand drill, which is also just a keyword that people are looking for then essential frontier survival gear. Essential is just something to make it look better. Then frontier survival gear, these are all keywords. And then we also have some features and benefits. Now I didn't find a lot of like features and benefits specifically for this product, but um, one that I found makes sense because people are worried that it will break very quickly is that I um, looked at what, the, what a good product is made of and that would be like strong high carbon steel. So this would just be a title that, um, that is optimized for all these keywords that you can see up top here. And I also 
um, used these dashes to kind of separate each of the main uh, phrases here so it's easier to read for the customer. So it doesn't look like you just stuff all the keywords in your title. So then once we have created our optimized title, we're just gonna copy it and paste it into the product name field right here. Then under brand name, you can just type in the brand name that you have decided on. So as an example, I'm just gonna type in Wild Gator right here. And then under manufacturer, you can also actually just use your brand name. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it in. Then the unit count, so how many units is in your box. Um, for me, it's just gonna be one. So I'm just gonna type in one right here. And then you can just continue down here and fill out all the details of your specific product, like sizes, colors, and so on. And once you've done that, we're gonna move on to the next tab, which is uh, variations right here. If your product has variations, you just select the type of variation right here and then type in all the details. Now my product doesn't have any variations, so I can actually just move on to the next tab, which is the offer. Here we can set the price that we wanna sell our product for. Now you can always change the price later on, so if you don't know what to put in here, just put in something that kind of looks right for you and you can always come back here and change this later on before you actually launch the product. However, a good strategy to price your product in the beginning is to price it a bit lower than what you actually want to shoot for later on when you actually have some reviews and some social proof uh, for your product. So you can go to your Amazon FBA profit calculator, which again is a free tool from Ecom Freedom, which you're gonna find down below in the description. You just type in all the costs for producing and sourcing your product. And if you've done that, you're gonna see your profit margin right here. And what you can do now is just play around with the selling price down here and look at what the profit margin is gonna be. And a good profit margin to shoot for for your launch is gonna be like 25% because then you're not gonna lose uh, as much money for the launch. So here we can, for example, just try like 26 and 99, you can type that in here and then go up and look at what the profit margin is gonna be. So we're gonna have a 26% profit margin if we're able to sell the product at uh, 26.99. So again, this would just be our launch, our launch price. And eventually down the road, we wanna sell at a higher price and make a lot more profit. So what we can also do is look at our competition and look at what they're selling the product for. So here, these are the products on the first page. This one is the main competitor. So the top one that comes up when you type in most of the keywords, he's selling at $38, which the, those guys probably have a very high profit margin and eventually we want to also get to this price or even higher. Um, however, we're not going to be able to sell at this price point because maybe the quality is just as good or even better and it looks better even, but we don't have any reviews yet, so we don't have any social proof, which is really important on Amazon. And then the second one is sold for $29.99 but they don't really have branded the product. So our product is gonna look a lot better than this one right here because that they don't even have a logo on the product. Then the third one as well, they don't have a logo. They're selling for $25.99. So what we can do here is position ourselves somewhere in between um, the second and the third competitor at a price point of let's say like $27.99. So we're a bit cheaper than this product right here. They have. 36 positive reviews, but our product is gonna look a lot more high quality because we have actually branded the product. So what we can do is just price it at $27.99 for the launch of the product. And then later on, when we get some initial reviews, we can increase the price and um, make sure we increase the profit margin as well. So I would actually go ahead and uh, type in the price right here, $27.99, which I'm gonna use for the launch price for this product. What you could also do is set your standard price as a higher price and then enter a sales price right here, which then the, the standard price will be crossed out and it will show like uh, there's a discount going on where you can get the product actually cheaper. So you can do that if you want to. Then we can come down here and at the quantity, we sell one of the products. So we're gonna type in one. Then the condition is gonna be a uh, new. And then we're gonna move on, max order quantity. We're just gonna leave that stuff empty. What you can also do is you can offer um, a gift wrap. So people can decide on if they wanna gift wrap the, the product for an additional fee. And this is actually a way you can make some extra profit by not doing any extra work because the work is gonna be done all by Amazon. So I'm gonna uh, select yes right here. 
And then under fulfillment channel, we're gonna select Amazon will ship and provide customer service because we're gonna be doing Amazon FBA, which means that Amazon will deliver the products. We will just uh, make sure it will be sent into the Amazon warehouse. And if you um, actually take the first one, I will ship the item myself, then you will just sell through Amazon, but then you have to physically ship the product to the customer. So this is a Amazon FBA tutorial. So obviously we're gonna uh, take the Amazon will ship and provide customer service. All right, and then we can go to the next uh, tab right here, which is compliance. Most of the information that you're gonna type in here is gonna be very specific to your product. So I'm not gonna go through that in detail. Most of the fields you're probably gonna leave empty anyway. And if you have any questions, just talk to your supplier and they're gonna tell you what the details are for your specific product. So let's move on to images. Now for your main product image, which is gonna be the first one that you upload uh, for your product, uh, you're gonna have to uh, adhere to some rules. So the first one is that your main product has to be on a white background and it has to fill minimum of 85% of the image. It also should only show the product for sale, so what comes in the box and not anything else that is not actually delivered when, when customers order your product. Then the product needs to be fully in frame and it needs to be well lit with realistic colors. And you, can, you also can't uh, add any additional logos, so don't add the logo of your brand uh, unless it's like on the product itself, then obviously you're just showcasing the product. And you can also not add any text or graphics additionally on, um, on the image. Sometimes on Amazon, you're gonna see people are doing that, but eventually they're gonna be taken down. So you definitely wanna uh, not break any rules when it comes to the images here on Amazon. Another thing that is important to have a actual high quality image. So make sure your image is 2000 by 2000 pixels. And that way people can actually zoom in the picture by hovering over the picture. Um, the minimum would be 1000 by 1000, but you wanna go for 2000 by 2000 so people can actually zoom in and see details of your product. Then after the first image, there's gonna be like secondary images where you can showcase the features and benefits of your product, um, show it from different angles and so show some lifestyle images of people actually using the product and like them being happy with the product and stuff like that. Now, the key thing here is to make it high quality um, and just look at the overall perception of what your listing looks like with your images, because if the images are bad quality, then nobody is gonna buy your product. So when we look at the top competitor of this specific product, um, when you hover over the image right here, you can see that you will see a zoomed in version of the image, which is only possible if you have a high quality image, which is 2000 by 2000 pixels. So that's definitely important. Um, so on the main image right here, you can see they have just a product on a white background, which is required. And you can also see the logo very well. And even on the case, they have the logo. So the branding pretty good here, especially compared to the other competitors in uh, for this product market. Then for the second image, they have this uh, just case, the product in the case from different angles. Then they also have an image of the product being used. And here they even have somebody uh, using the product. Now this person really looks like a potential customer. So just by seeing that image, the potential customer probably can relate pretty well to, to this image right here, which uh, increases the likelihood of them actually buying the product. So if you use people in your product images, make sure it's relatable to the customer. Then you have some more images of the product being used, another image without the case. And then you also have uh, two videos. So at some point you wanna register a trademark for your brand and that will enable you to put a video in your listing. For now, you're not gonna be able to do that, but once you can, you should definitely do a video because it really helps people to see the product in action and it will basically help the conversion rate of your Amazon listing. So if you have the budget for it, the best way would definitely be to hire a professional product photographer because images are so important when it comes to selling on Amazon. Now, if you have a limited budget, you can also watch some tutorials on how to take great product photos and then just take them yourself. But make sure you actually put some effort in creating high quality photos because if you have crappy photos, then you can do everything else right and you're probably not gonna be successful selling your product on Amazon. So let's move on to the next tab, which is the description. So here we can put in our bullet points and also our product description. So just to recap, our bullet points is what you can see right here. 
And then the product description, we're gonna have to scroll down and here we can see the product description. Now, a couple of things to consider when writing your bullet points is that you also wanna include relevant keywords like the ones that we have found for our product in your bullet points because this will help you uh, rank your product for those specific keywords. You also wanna focus on uh, your key benefits and also features of your product. And by doing that, you also wanna address um, the pain points that your customers have and also kill any objections why your customers wouldn't buy the product. So in order to be able to do that, you're gonna to have to know your customer as well as possible. Optimally, you would be your main customer. So if you would be a person who would buy that product, you definitely have an advantage. You wanna definitely read as many reviews as possible because there people always communicate what they are actually looking for in the product and um, what they were disappointed of. Then you also wanna join forums of people who are in this specific niche and also just talk to the customers that would buy that product. And just by doing that, you're gonna, you're gonna get to know exactly what those customers are actually looking for and you can communicate that in your bullet points. So let's look at this product listing as an example and let's see if we can find some strategies that we have just talked about in those bullet points. So it starts off with upgraded R3 powerful massage gun. So powerful massage gun is probably uh, one of the main keywords that they're trying to rank this product for. We are dedicated to offering a more exquisite and intense sports muscle massager gun. This muscle fascia gun is um, designed with premium metal. So premium metal housing and super powerful brushless motor. Um, delivering high penetration. So these are probably topics that um, they realized the customers care about. So they are including this in their bullet points. Convenient USB type C charging massage gun deep tissue. So here again, a massage gun deep tissue is most likely a very good keyword that they're trying to rank this product for. And then one of the objections is probably people not knowing if they can travel with it. So they include no worry about charging when you travel with it in different countries. Deep tissue, percussion, muscle massager, again, a keyword. Gun can be charged by USB type C with um, blah, 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 and can be charged with power bank too. So probably these people are, are asking themselves, can I use this while traveling? And then they read, okay, I can charge this using USB type C. I can charge this using, using a power bank. So this is probably just killing an objection why they wouldn't buy the product. Ultra portable and silent percussion massager. Silence is probably also something they're worried about. Like, is this thing gonna be very loud? And then massager for athletes. The key demographic here for this product is probably athletes. And then when you read this, this is for athletes then uh, you're probably gonna be um, wanting to buy this product because you can see this is exactly uh, for me, the customer. So I think you realize here what I wanted to show you. So let's move on. So again, take some time to do some research about what would be good topics to talk about in your bullet points, write them out, and then you're gonna put them in here. So here, this is the first one. Then you can just add more and just add a couple of bullet points for your product listing. Now, the next thing we're gonna look at is your product description. The strategy for your product description is basically gonna be the same as for your bullet points. So you wanna include relevant keywords, you wanna reaffirm all the things you talked about in the bullet points, and you wanna address objections and pain points of your customers. And like I've said before, when your brand is registered on Amazon, you're gonna be able to use images in your product descriptions, just like they have done right here. Um, but in the beginning, you're only gonna be able to use text. However, you wanna make sure that the text is actually easily readable. So you wanna use bold titles and use paragraphs and all that good stuff. So here's an example of um, this seller right here. They have just like put a block of text, which is not really uh, easily readable. Now to make our description look nice and easily readable, we're gonna need to put that in here in an HTML format. So we're gonna go to a text to HTML converter. I'm using this one from sellerapp.com. You're gonna find the link to this one down below in the description. So you just wanna write out your description, make sure it's, uh, it's perfectly optimized. And then you wanna paste it in here and then you can do all the formatting in this field right here. So let's say we're gonna do a paragraph right here. This one we're gonna make bold. Then we can also um, use some words and make them italic as well. We can also add some bullet points right here or some numbers. 
Let's maybe add some bullet points. So I'm just gonna add some random stuff right here. And then once you have um, created and formatted your description, you can simply just copy the HTML code right here by clicking on copy HTML code. And then you go back to your Amazon account and you just paste that in right here. Now it looks pretty weird right here, but later on in the actual listing, it's gonna look exactly uh, like this one right here. So let's move on to keywords. And here under search terms, you just wanna type in all of the main keywords that you wanna rank your product for. So just go to your Jungle Scout account, look at your keyword list and take out the main words. And then you can just paste it in right here. And that's basically all you need to do. Then we're gonna click on save and finish right here. And then as you can see here, your listing is being created. The process can take up to 30 minutes. So just take a break, come back in 15 minutes, and then you can check out how your listing looks like on Amazon. Now I've refreshed the page after like two minutes and then under inventory, manage inventory, you should find your listing. And then when you click on your listing right here, you can see exactly how it will look like on Amazon. So you can check out the description right here, your bullet points and also the title and the pictures. Now the, the listing will not be visible on Amazon for your customers until your products arrive in the Amazon warehouse. So don't worry, nobody's gonna see your listing yet um, until you actually have inventory. 